What's up, everybody? Welcome to Detroit, Michigan. Now, we're not within city limits. I'm not sure all the time here. But it is nonetheless still Detroit as a whole. Whatever. You get what I'm saying. Still Detroit. Now, this area here is um, Ham Ham Tramk. Ham Tramk. Technically, it's Hamtrank, Michigan. And Katie will read up on this place for us. It's kind of like in the middle of Detroit area. Maybe some stats on this place. I'm just curious what it is. Population is 20,000. Mm -hmm. 433 as of this year. Mm -hmm. Last year, 2020. Mm -hmm. There is a 26% Asian population here. 26? Mm hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Fried chicken and coney. What's a coney? It's a hot dog. Oh, that's what I thought it was. Do they call the, them hot? The, do they call them hot dogs or ponies? What, what are they? Uh, coney dogs. We call them ponies. Okay. Coney dogs. So here, if you want a hot dog, you don't say give me a hot dog. You say give me a coney. Mhm. Mm what? What's a coney? Why don't I just call it's it a hot, a hot dog? dog? Why don't I just call it a hot dog? Well, it's better than a regular hot dog. It's a coney dog. It's longer. <coughs> it's like a foot long. Give me a big dog. Why don't I just call it a big dog? No. Okay, there's definitely some interesting... Um, can I see like, the rest of the statistics on that? Seems interesting. 55% W, 10% B. And then Asian, you said it was 26%. Very little H. Okay, so it's mostly a lot of Asian. Okay. Well, that's super interesting. Mm -hmm. I like to always learn about other people and their postures. What's the per capita income? Oh, wow, look at this. Bangladeshi. Read, read it off, baby. I gotta drive. 19%. That's Bangladeshi. a lot. That's cool. Ten, Bangladeshi. Oh, that's cool. 10% Pakistani. Okay. 10% Polish. 10% Polish? Mm -hmm. So the W is actually broken down the Europeans. Mm -hmm. Cool. Arab is excluding Iraqi and Lebanese. This is nine point two. That's a lot. Macedonian five percent. <coughs> well, that's cool. There's Macedonians here. Mm -hmm. you don't Asian see that Indian five point four. Asian Indian. Okay, yeah. so actual Indian. Yeah. B is five percent. Wow. Ukrainian, 3%. Albanian, close to 3%. Oh, wow, so this is like a melting pot of like everything here. Yeah, Irish, 2%. Ooh. German, about 2%. Okay. Italian, close to 2%. Wow. Russian, one4 English, 1%. Um, French, a little less than 1%. There is Lebanese... Scottish, less than 1%, uh, 0.5% Iraqi, 0.5% Yugoslavia, and 0.2% Wow, so this is like a real like melting pot of everything here. Yeah. I mean, that is, that's incredible. Per capita income. That's an interesting factor, huh? Yeah. Let me see. It has for this one. Um, is that a lids? Because I would like to get whatever my my Detroit jacket. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Well, so this is like yeah. everybody's here. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. See, this is the type of stuff. There's hundreds of people that do YouTube uh, YouTube videos about Detroit, mm -hmm. all showing the hoods, but nobody's shown this. This is super neat, bro. 
There's good shopping in here. Look, there's like actual clothing stores. Yeah. Like, if we need to get like those Detroit stuff, see if you see any like uh, clothing stores. I really want to get those Detroit jackets for us, and this would be a great place to do it. Mm -hmm. I get those Detroit jackets. Bangladeshi, Pakistani, everybody up in here. This is very diverse. Would you say this is more diverse than New Jersey, I guess, then? Yeah. Supposed to be New Jersey the most diverse county in the country. Where we're in, in Hoboken? Something smells interesting. I'm sure it's uh, the, the, the African food. Either Ethiopian or Somali. Bostonians, their food is also like that. Might be Bosnian. The food smell is just overwhelming. Are there any clothing stores back in there? I think it's Bosnians or Somalians, one of the two. Their food, you'll smell it for blocks. So neat. You ever been here when you were in Detroit? Maybe. Probably not. So, like, this is the part of Detroit nobody shows you. Yeah, my dad took us to some interesting places when my mom was working. It must not be that dangerous because you do see people out yeah. and about and stuff. <clears throat> Never mind. The guy's like. Somebody's just screaming in the microphone. What's he screaming about? Is it here? Oh, this doesn't look like anything we want to record. Okay, we gotta just turn around and get up out here. Yeah. That looks like some interesting stuff. You're hanging out in a parking lot with two trunk lids open, ten guys. Mm -hmm. This isn't going anywhere, does it? Let's just get up out here. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go near them. There's like ten of them. Yeah. Okay. That looks like business right there, bro. That is business. That is business, bro. I don't know what nationality they are. That's business right there. Whatever that is, that is business. Woohoo. What's that? Business. Or it could just be people hanging out. Why are they screaming? I think there it's prayers. Okay, it could be prayers. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the place. I don't know. Like I said, I, I have never seen a place this diverse. I have no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your tendency is just to look how pretty this is. It's just to, yeah, it's probably that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you assume the absolute worst and it's not really mm -hmm. the case. Yeah. But just in case, I get the crap out of here. <laughs> just in case, let's get the crap out of here. The sun, the way the lighting hits all the buildings right now and everything. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. It's so, it's like nighttime, but it's daytime. It's, the lighting is just so perfect. I hope this light turns green. Mm -hmm. Please turn green. Yeah, that's a mosque over there. Yeah. Yeah, so they're prayers. Okay. Like I said, I've never, ever been around an uh, Arab... I mean, in Kentucky, we had some Iraqis. But I don't think they were too religious. I think they were kind of not religious. The reason they ended up in Kentucky to begin with. Mm -hmm. They weren't really with the whole religion thing. So they were kind of not political... Not refugees, they're exiles. Big difference. Refugee means you left your country. Exile means, yeah, you pretty much had to leave your country. Mm -hmm. So the ones in Louisville that we met were, for the most part, not not the most. They were just kind of oddballs. Mm -hmm. And 
they weren't all into that. They'd tell you. And that's maybe like the reason we had to leave our country is because we weren't into whatever they had going on. <laughs> they were not refugees, they were exiles. And that's a big difference. Refugees means you're coming to escape and make it a lot better. Exile means you had to leave. Because if you didn't leave, you'd have been gone regardless. So big difference between refugee and exiles. So, Kentucky, you had uh, exiles. Really small. Community. This is a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know much about their culture. I did have Iraqi friends in Louisville. There was two of them. They were Iraqi. I would say this is one of the coolest places I've ever been to in the United States. Mm -hmm. As far as like uniqueness and all that. Like, oh, they got flags over here now. Cool. Okay, so that's Algeria, right? The, black, the, the green with the red dot is Nigeria. They got the Jamaican flag right here. They got the Filipino flag over here. <coughs> they got red and white is Estonia or Slovenia. I'm not sure. Mexico over here. If I'm wrong, you guys can just tag stamp and correct me. This is the Albanian flag right here. The red with the little dragon is the Albanian. Got the American flag. That's a very neat district. Mm -hmm. This is a very neat. It looks like Liberty City, Miami, mm -hmm. but different. I think Detroit is more, uh, again, like one of those places that's just underrated. Yeah. Very neat district. Very, very neat district. Alright, you can GPS our destination. We can go back. You want to go into the hood tonight or no? Mm. I, I don't think so, right? Uh. Everything's not about getting views. We can do it tomorrow if you want, but. Tomorrow I want to go by like Ann Arbor and so. stuff. Yeah, it's not, I'm not going to risk my life tonight. I'll just get the crap and get back to where we need to get. Not everything's about views. Not everything's about views to impress your YouTube subscribers. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna risk it in Detroit. Mm -hmm. I'll skip on the Arbor, probably. What do you have to see there? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> Just because you were born there in Oslo doesn't mean anything. Continue on Joseph Campbell Avenue. I think I know. I think I know where you really want to go, and that's where we need to spend like a yeah. few days. Like you don't really, you didn't really do all that much in Detroit. You saw your house in Garden City, okay? You know what I mean? But I wanted you to see where I was born. I don't care about where the crap you were born. I might you way later in life, women. Yep. I want to see that real estate license you was talking about. That's what I'm trying to see. You can uh, put it on the map so I can see where we're going. Oh, I could do that. You could do that. I might do that for you. I could. It actually feels very serene right now. Turn left onto East McNichols Road. Is that the Popo? Ain't even did nothing yet. Ain't even did nothing yet. I'm out of breath again today, and I don't know where my review recruitments are. Turn left onto Turn East left. McNichols Road. Left, left. I don't like the way you said it. Left, left. <laughs> you don't want the way I say anything. Continue on East McNichols Road for three quarters of a mile. <coughs> Alright guys, there it is. A drive through Detroit, Michigan. Uh, the area there, I knew I wanted to check it out. Throw something different at you guys. Majestic, beautiful. I mean, Detroit's not everything you see on YouTube. There's more to it. It really is. love Detroit and the city's fascinated me forever I would love to see the ruins of Detroit but I'd probably do it in the daytime I don't do it at night mm -hmm. it's not worth it it really isn't would you come back here again Detroit yeah this is a fascinating city Head west um, on East McNichols Road toward Goddard Street. not only do you I see myself right onto Chrysler Drive. visiting Detroit in the future mm -hmm. if a job opportunity that was very lucrative came up I wouldn't even consider living out here mm. hood fella Oh, you know hood fellas? One of them is from. Can you, I don't know where we're going. Yeah. One I'm of them, trying to help you. Hood fella, go no. up to Chrysler. Yeah. 
Oh, no, fine. I won't tell you then. <laughs> Since you don't want to hear it. I do want to hear it. No, you don't. You don't. All right, guys. Checking out from Detroit, Michigan. Michigan. Michigan.